She is a mirror image of her famous father. Cheryl Ford, great post up move and lays it over the front of the rim. Cheryl Ford getting the job done inside. Ford with another rebound. Cheryl Ford, outstanding effort. Her bruising style of play, it's the same that made her father one of the NBA's greatest power forwards. When Cheryl Ford and her twin brother Daryl were born to Benita Ford 22 years ago in Louisiana, their dad, Carl Malone, was at the hospital. Then, just weeks after graduating from high school, he vanished from their lives. I never say that uh, they were a mistake because they're definitely not. It's just a decision that I made as a, as a young kid resulted in it. Cheryl did not discover that Malone was her father until she was eight years old. Only after a lawsuit filed by Benita Ford was settled out of court. From that point, Cheryl grew up a Carl Malone fan and enjoyed the four-hour drive from Louisiana to Dallas to see him play. But Cheryl always left those games heartbroken. It was fun until after the game we went down to try to get his attention when he didn't say anything. The bus was parked in the back and we were always standing at the fence and she would look down at him and she would say, Carl, you know, she would just holler his name and stuff and he wouldn't look up. I yelled to him and he, he, he acted like he didn't hear me so I said, I just called him a buster. So that's the way I felt at the time. And she would like call him a buster and she would cry, she would cry, you know. And I have to hold her in my arms and tell her it'll be all right. You know, one day he will speak to you. During the 1998 finals, Malone was portrayed during a television interview as a strong family man. And Cheryl, who had been cheering for her dad during that series against the Bulls, was wounded. He up here being nominated as the father of the year or whatever, and he got two kids at, um, down in Louisiana that he does nothing for um, and then we sit up and see you know his the other kids on the TV and I mean it hurt a little bit but what can I what can we do about it nothing so we just watched it and that's all we could do a lot of times in life you don't get second chances to try to correct things or try to uh, make them right after no contact with them for 17 years Malone in 1998 decided to become involved in the lives of Cheryl and her brother. At the time, the twins were stars at Summerfield High School, the same school where Malone and Benita Ford dated while both played basketball. It was very shocking. I mean, we got this man that we, ain't, we didn't know, so, and he just all of a sudden decided to just want to come and talk to us. And I take responsibility for it, but sometimes you don't take them right then. Sometimes you take them later, and it don't make you a bad person. That was the first time we got involved, really got involved in their life. Yeah, that's the first time he ever spoken to him. That's the first time he ever said anything to him. I lost a lot of precious time, and I wasn't expecting them to just come back into their life and, and just be all of a sudden, oh, okay, here's dad, here's father. You know, thinking this man got a lot of money, and I don't have any money. My kids wanted fame and fortune, you know. Maybe they would leave me for fame and fortune which they didn't, thank God they didn't. And um, so all I told him I had was love and time. Did you forgive him immediately? No. How long did it take for you? Uh, it maybe took a couple of years. I mean, we forgive, but we don't forget, so that's just the way it goes. While Cheryl can't forget, the relationship she has with Malone grows strong. On the day she was named to the WNBA All-Star team, her first phone call was to Malone. He was excited. Um, he could tell I was smiling a lot. He was telling me to stop smiling, and um, he was just like, he got to step up his game because I'm trying to catch up with him. So, <laughs> Still, Cheryl would prefer to make a name for herself and not to be known simply as Carl Malone's daughter. Does it bother me? You, you couldn't even imagine. Um, it bothered me a lot. I just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get out there and do my own thing and make my own name. You know, I just get tired of people sitting on the side and say, come on Malone. And I like turn around and say, do you see a Malone in her shirt? You know, it's Ford out there. Ford, F-O-R-D. Yes, she has a relationship and a great media uh, opportunity with uh, her father being Carl Malone. But Cheryl Ford is her own person. And she's grown up her own person and she wants to be known for her basketball accomplishments. She's who I am, like spitting the image or things I like, things I don't like. But she making her own name, and I just, God, I don't know. I'm just proud of her. I'm, 
I'm just proud of her. And what's it like when you when he sees you in the crowd now and he acknowledges you? Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, it's a good feeling to know that uh, he we can make eye contact and he'll wink at me or something like that. So it's pretty good. Daryl and I are just glad he's you know finally in our lives and you know getting to know us and we getting to know him and the family and the kids up there and I mean it's just very good experience for us. Um, we looking in the future, we're not turning back and going back and and wondering why and you know so we just look into the future and just want to be happy.